y'all. This is my Walmart haul that I got today. And I've got it divided up between the grocery items, the household items, and this right here will be an I bought a rebate. We'll do that in a little bit. So today we got the stone ground mustard. We had a little accident and we had a glass jar of stone ground mustard hit the floor. My floor is made of this ceramic tile. If it's glass, it shatters. So the stone ground mustard was $1.64. This is plastic. It won't break. The almond butter, however, is in a glass jar. But I do love this stuff. This is for me. My daughter won't eat it. It has It's just almonds and salt. No sweetener at all. But it's so good. And I can have this on my keto. So it's $4.98 for a 12 ounce jar. They had these marked down, and like I said earlier, our vacation is coming up next month. It's going to come quicker than we realize. It just all of a sudden it'll be here, and I won't be ready. So as I go along, over, over several months as I go along, I buy items for vacation, and as it gets closer, I start buying food items. So <clears throat> my daughter likes this as uh like so she doesn't if she likes the applesauce but in the car or if she wants to pack a pack a snack for the for the parks she can just throw this in and won't need a spoon so they had these marked down um i don't know which is which so we have the tropical burst and then we have a uh, berry and raspberry uh, two of them are $2.23, and two of them are $2.22. I don't know which is which, but what? okay, whatever. <laughs> so, the people food items added up to $16.61 with tax. And I got some kitty cat food. This is what they like. We've tried them on all different kinds. Sometimes they'll spit it back up, or they'll have upset stomachs, but this is what seems to work best for them the special kitty indoor formula it's uh, a 16 about a 16 pound bags i got two of them like i've said before we do have multiple kitty cats they have their own ring so the cat food is 968 i got two of them so the cat food total is 2072 and i add this to this so our total food from Walmart today was $37.33. Then I've got some household items. We got the green apple shampoo, dandruff shampoo, and that was $4.64. The dandruff conditioner, the Dove, is $4.88. And of course, for vacation, we are fair skinned, especially my redheaded daughter. So we get this just in case of a sunburn. If I buy it, we won't get a sunburn and won't need it. But if I don't buy it, we will get burned. So this is $3.98 for a big, it's just the Equate brand. It's a big bottle, 20 ounce bottle. And also for vacation, I got three different scents of the hand sanitizer. Those are 96 cents each. I stocked back up on our headache medicine. This is about the same. It's the it's got the exact same ingredients as the the um, Excedrin migraine and or headache. It's just a whole lot cheaper. So this is 94 cents, and I got two of them. They did have to come and make sure I was over 18 though, so that was good. Then we got the cold and flu. I always make sure I have extra of that. We've, we've had plenty of sickness in recent months, so I, I seem to run out of this, especially in the, in the winter time. So I got, I got two of those, and that's $2.98 for each one. Then we got this. My daughter and I have a lot of hair. Our hair is real thick, and if you want to put it up, you need... I mean, I've tried the, this says it's for, I believe it thinks, it, 
it says see it says medium hair but and I've tried the ones that are thicker thinking they would be better but they're almost too thick to get them to go around in a ponytail these seem to be just right so we that'll be plenty for us that should hopefully get us through the summer but definitely need those with vacation coming up now these are for litter box cleaning they won't be used for anything else so I got four I got the large size so there'll be plenty roomy in there and so they're, they're not bad they're so the other ones like the disposable ones are so expensive I don't know what's happened to them so I got these and we can just maybe reuse them a couple times so for those for cleaning out the litter boxes and they're 146 each so for this household budget right here it came out of the household budget there's all my prices and the and 37 28 and that came out of my household budget which is things like things like this also things like this are household but this I also got at Walmart but this is what I'm gonna have rebates on so these you Kotex you 384 each and I got two of them and the sponges these are my favorite sponges to use and I bought a has them back on a on a rebate now so I stock up I could have gotten five of these I could have gotten five of these but I didn't want to spend quite that much money so the sponges are 278 each the Dove foaming hand wash I got one for my bathroom one for my daughter's bathroom and that is $2.97 each. The color grabber is $3.77. Again, I could have gotten five of those or five of those. I just didn't want to spend that much money. Now this, this right here is the deal. I'm, I'm about to color my hair. I have a lot of hair. It's long, it's thick. And even if it was shorter, it would still take two boxes. So... I had to get I have to get two boxes anyways but the rebate is for two boxes you have to buy two in order to get the rebate which is fine by me because I need to but these right here you see that there was a take two dollars off now sticker on both of these so while they were six ninety two each I got to take four dollars off because I got two so these items here total $35.09. Now let's pull up the Ibotta app and let me get my Walmart receipt over here because I'm going to have to scan it. So click on Walmart and upload receipt. Okay, continue. And here we go. And I'm just going to go around that little square. And it's picked it up. And let's see what it says here. And it will usually pick up all my rebates for my items. Five offers. One, two, three, four, five. It should have them all. And I want to make sure it's got the right quantity. So I got one of the color grabbers. I got two of the foaming hand wash. Also, I got just for having a receipt, I get 10 cents. I got two of the Kotex. And I got two of the Scotch Bright. Where's my hair color? All right, we got to add. So the hair color is not on here. So we're gonna add offers because it didn't pick up my hair color so we're gonna we gotta scroll down here and find it let me see and it is categorized so it shouldn't okay it's gonna be in beauty and personal care clear all nice and easy and I've got to scan scan the barcode right here so let me 
put that there and they're both they're both just alike so I'm just going to scan it twice because it wants to make sure you bought two of them and it's got to be on the receipt or it won't allow you to get it back so add purchase so see there not only did I get four dollars back on these two I get five dollars back on this rebate okay so add per, add one purchase five dollars I'm going to click add now I'm going to get five dollars back for the Clairol one dollar back for the color grabber one dollar back for each of the Dove ten cents on the receipt one dollar back for each of the tampons 25 cents back for each of the sponges so my total is ten dollars and sixty cents so we'll verify and it's sending the receipt all right so ten dollars and sixty cents will be added to your account and it probably won't take it says within 24 hours but with these few of these few items I don't have that much today it's it's not going to take that long so so pending items pending earnings I'm sorry ten dollars and sixty cents and right now I have thirty three dollars and fifty so it'll add to that once you get up to twenty dollars on Ibotta you see there that's how much I've earned since I started Ibotta I've been using Ibotta uh, over three years now but you get that money back I have it transferred when you get to twenty dollars or more you can have it transferred to PayPal and then I use PayPal and transfer it to my checking account or no or savings account I can put it to checking or savings however you've got your PayPal set up so there is our Ibotta so I'll just go back home and there we go and there's all kinds of rebates on Ibotta so ten dollars and sixty cents we'll get back so that'll bring that down to twenty less than twenty four dollars for all of this which I think is a pretty good deal especially this hair color I mean you know basically six ninety two let's see what that is let's just let's just do the math and see what this is so we'll go six ninety two plus six ninety two minus four minus five so basically we ended up paying four dollars and eighty two cents for these two bottles of hair color I mean you can't beat that with a stick now can you how about that All right, so let's see where we are for the month of April so far. We're almost halfway through the month. My budget is $200. I did well last month, so last month $75 gets added to this month, so that brings us up to $275 for the month. On the 10th, between the two grocery hauls I did on the 10th of 2348 and 747 which this was I mean oops 2348 797 this was the grocery store Ramey's and this yeah this was Ramey's this was the discount grocery so we spent I spent 3145 there today we went I did I went to a lot of places <laughs> well some was yesterday and some was today so yesterday I went to Ramey's before work and spent $27.62 spent $2.12 at the discount grocery store today this today at Ramey's I spent $47.92 at the corner market I spent $37.17 at Sam's I spent $21.73 Walmart 
37.33. So in all total today, 173.55. And that's just that's just for groceries. That's all food, all food products, people food and pet food. So 173.55. So we started the month with 275 towards the food budget. I took off the 3145, leaving us 24355. So today we spent 17355. That leaves us $70 for the rest of the month, which is more than enough because we're really not going to need much uh, much else at all for food because we've got plenty of meat in the freezer. My freezers are full and the only thing we might need is a little bit of produce and that I'll just pick probably pick that up at the discount grocery store. So this is the front of my refrigerator. This is my middle daughter. This is my youngest daughter. This is my baby who is still at home with me now. She is almost 17. My middle daughter is 12 and a half years older. So these are these are two of my girls. My oldest daughter is grown. Well, she's grown too. But in this picture, she was grown. My oldest daughter was already grown. So, these my two, that's my two youngest. Aren't they sweet? All right, here is my meal plan for this week. Tonight, I'm having shrimp scampi with zoodles. It's just me tonight since my daughter is out of town. Tomorrow night, Sunday, I'm having, I'm going to make meat. Uh, mini meatloaves with uh, and have broccoli as a side the meatloaves I just I make mix up my meatloaf meat and put it in um, I mix up my meatloaf meat and just put it in a muffin tin and bake it off that way and then whatever's left over I can freeze in the zipper bag so Monday we're gonna have a sheet pan chicken with roasted vegetables Tuesday, we'll have, my daughter will have tacos, and I'll have taco salad. Wednesday, we will have pork chops with green beans. Thursday, we'll have some pan-seared tilapia with cream spinach. And Friday nights is always leftovers at my house because I work at a bank and we stay open late on Fridays, and I'm not cooking when I get home after a long day at work, so... There's my meal plan for the week. Well, that was a lot of shopping hauls for today, wasn't it? I did my menu plan, so there's the meals we're having for this week. And be looking forward to a Dollar Tree haul. I'll be recording that later on. And um, it was it's totally different from what this... Uh, I didn't want to include that in this. Not only am I going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul in a little while later on, I will also probably tomorrow be doing a pre-vacation packing video. So I'm going to show what I've purchased over the last several months for our upcoming Walt Disney World vacation next month. And I just, what I do is I just purchase things as I go along, things that I see that are on sale and just put them in a box and let them sit there and then it's not like, you know, going on a big shopping trip the week before vacation and you spend all this money. I just a little bit of, uh, it's just a little bit all along as I go along and it just takes a little small bite out of my budget and not a big bite out of my budget. So I just buy a little as I go along. So I'll be doing that video probably tomorrow. So that's it for today. See y'all later.